Here we go then. Um, this is the Oz report for February 22nd, 2021. Um, and we're going to start with, um, we're going to start with the Marauders because everyone's talking about them anyway. So if you, um, if you don't know, the Marauder, Marauders are, <laughs> difficult word, are the, the Golem, the, the Kronos, uh, the, the Paladin and the Varger. Uh, they are uh, tier 2 uh, battleships and uh, they were buffed quite heavily um, uh, as was announced a long time ago by the way so this is not a huge surprise the only surprise is the actual uh, point in time and so overnight um, as you can see in the graph in the background here they kind of exploded in price so you see the the golem the chronos they all did the same thing the paladin and the varger and this is obviously people speculating right and there's one thing wrong with this picture um, because if you look at the actual um, the actual build prices of these, so the actual raw materials that go into that, uh, they haven't changed, right? Um, so you can go to Adam for Eve, they haven't changed. So all that's changed really is the amount of margin that people that are holding these are making. And there's a problem with that because in the long run, that price is not going to be able to hold there's no way i i saw uh, uh you know i saw some people comparing this to to gamestop or whatever this is stupid right because there is a material bill that goes in here and it's mostly moon goo right moon goo right now is uh really 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 cheap right and so the actual cost of uh making one of these uh is actually quite low so if you look at this in the background this is the golem uh, you can make a golem right now for 1.3 billion if you make uh, everything yourself so um these uh, uh this is uh never going to hold right also even if you see temporarily uh materials going back up in the long run it's always going to go go down so the only way you're going to make money on marauders is if you bought it right in the beginning if you bought some and you're selling right now because otherwise it's not going to hold um that is something that you you have to know and you have to consider um the actual impact on marauders on the availability of moon goo is going to be negligible because there is a ton of moon goo out there uh this is basically just, just shifting budgets from one type of ship, maybe battleships, maybe uh, hacks, into another, marauders. Uh, and overall, it's not going to have a big impact on the moon goo supply, and therefore it's not going to uh, be something that lasts. So this is something that you have to keep in mind when investing into items that are easily replaced, like ships, uh, or these types of ships where supply is not limited. The blueprints, they did rise in price. Some people tried to buy, buy them out, but I just checked right now and there are still cheap blueprints out there. Um, so uh, that is not going to hold people back uh, that much either. Uh, it's all just temporary. Okay, enough about uh, Marauders. Uh, let's talk about uh, Abyssal materials. Uh, I mentioned them briefly last week. So I'm talking uh, Crystalline Isogen uh, and, and Zero Point Condensate here. Um, they are uh, what goes into abyssal ships and their prices have uh, risen sharply all week so uh, zero point condensate you can see here it's uh, it's it's going up crystalline isogen even more if you look at the the price it's already uh, uh, quite high at uh, approaching 60. and so uh, why this is happening because um, the amount of people running uh, abyssal uh, stuff is going down right and that's uh, I'm guessing this is because of the um, uh, the event. Uh, I'm a lot of people that typically run Abyss uh, an hour or two or night to make money are probably now running events, or at least some of them. And as soon as you see fewer people running uh, Abyssal sites, you have the supply going down of Crystalline Isogen 10 and Zero Point Condensate, and the 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 demand is still there because people are still flying Treglavian ships, so um, the prices rise um that means that uh, as a derivative if you look at ships that uh use these materials for example the dracovac uh the vetmac and the kikimora those are three ships that heavily rely that have a big chunk of the raw materials uh, made up of abyssal materials um they are um, likely to rise in price unless uh, this um, trend is corrected quickly and that is quite possible that that might happen 
because if the event ends and people go back to running abyssal space and just keep an keep a close eye on the development in these materials if they um go back down then you know this was just because of the the event and it's going um uh, and it was all a temporary thing and then it's probably not going to have a huge impact uh, on the prices of Treglavian ships uh, but if the trend continues then um, you can uh, use them as a lagging uh, derivative uh, to make some money there by the way just as a side note uh, if you've ever wondered why the Leshak which is also a Treglavian ship why it doesn't follow the same price curves as, as the other tier one uh, Treglavian ships that's because the Leshak mainly relies on uh, basic min minerals uh, the, the the proportion of Treglavian uh, or an abyssal materials is much much smaller on the Leshak so the Leshak just reacted to um, the scarcity phase uh, squeeze on minerals and that's why you're seeing this follow the mineral prices that we were uh, seeing uh, going up um, uh, all summer and the and the fall so that's why that that happened to the Leshak so if you ever want to buy a ship that is heavily um, mineral um, dependent then the Leshak is your all right next let's talk about um the where we already said the event is ending the guardian scala event is ending um if we look at um the uh, the boosters the agency boosters that i've been talking about the agency boosters was something that dropped a shit ton in uh the winter nexus event it's dropping a little bit less now because the the sites are rarer and more difficult but um, still, the market is being flooded with agency drugs, and this is the main source of them. So uh, right now is the time to buy them, buy them to put some uh, stockpiles um, uh, in, in in your hangar. Um, the ones that are mostly undervalued, where I see the most uh, upside potential, are hard shell dose three and four, and Pyrolensia dose three and four. Uh, those are trading quite low again if you uh, if you look at their their in-game charts. Um, they're they're almost at winter nexus levels again. Um, and if you see just in the week or two between the two events um, they recovered uh, quite nicely so you can expect the same to to happen again uh, albeit a bit slower because people's uh, stockpiles are getting quite big um, by the way if you were looking for uh, faction uh, modules to be dropping in price this time around from this event that just uh, hasn't happened there was just not enough supply there so domination warp scrambler uh, just as an example of a domination one and Shadow's Apprentice Inertial Stabilizers, they just didn't drop in price, uh, not like the two Sanchez stuff did in the Winter Nexus event. So keep that in mind for next year's event or even for other events that uh, that are um, uh, that are in that that category. Um, switching gears into uh, LP, Barista's LP is a very very popular uh, LP uh, that. Uh, um, typically is uh, is also quite quite cyclical we see that uh, from the the gila that comes from gyrus lp or the worm that comes from gyrus lp or also from uh, high grade mid grade and low grade crystal implants crystal impra implants are um, uh, coming from uh, gyrus lp and so what we're seeing right now is an over farming of this lp so if you look for example at the worm um, I am de deliberately not pulling up the, the Gila because we've talked about it so much and everyone knows uh, kind of like the investment potential of the Gila. Its little brother, the worm, uh, is trading very low right now. You can have buy orders um, uh, sub 50 million, which is incredibly cheap. Uh, and so uh, that is a definite, uh, definitely a good investment right now. If you look at crystal, um, crystal uh, implants, then uh, also they're quite low. Uh, and same reason, uh, over-farmed uh, Garistas LP, uh, they are also a good investment right now. The mid-grade uh, crystals here as an example, or the high-grade crystal Epsilon um, also as an example. So go check them out. Maybe you can uh, catch some of them on a good buy order. Um, then let me see what's left to talk about. We have uh, large skill injectors uh, have crashed quite a bit. Um, so. Uh, they have uh, um, they, they continue to crash just like the plex price uh, which which kind of goes hand in hand but what this means is that uh, skill farming uh, profit that i like to show on uh, on stream a lot uh, has uh, dropped quite significantly to about 536 million for for uh, skill farming what happens is uh, your um, 
your uh, your expenses get uh, get fewer so it gets cheaper to run your farm if the plex price drops uh, but uh, if large skill injectors also drop then your revenue also drops so uh, this kind of goes in hand and in this case one dro uh, dropped quicker than the other so um, this is this is quite low if you've missed it i have added the log and rewards to my um, skill farming calculation here uh, that's the difference from last week and so um, uh, that's why this is now the overall number is a little bit higher but uh, relatively to uh, the last couple of days the profit here has dropped quite quickly okay i think uh, let's see plex uh yeah plex as i said it it broke the bottom it's a it's 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 in in in, in it's in trouble uh it's uh, not recovering quite well um so uh you know we'll 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 do on, on one of the next streams we'll do a little bit more detail on plex again uh but uh you know um certainly it's cheap right now to fund uh, your your accounts if, uh, if that's what you're you're doing um last uh i have two salvage things one regular salvage item ward consoles hey uh they i i i have not talked about them a lot in the past uh, these are um, uh, also a fantastic investment item uh, they are um, quite liquid you can buy and sell them easily it's much much easier to buy them though uh, and they have a very very steady volume and a nice a big market and right now they are trading very low you can see that um, you can buy sub 30 you can see i am buying sub 30 uh, and that is very very low so um uh, ward consoles see if you can uh, uh, if you can get in on that and the last item i'm going to talk about today uh, is actually the zero point field manipulator because interestingly enough we talked about it uh, i think two weeks ago this is this is what is one to one driving the price of nurgles and ikatursas because this is by far the biggest input material for them they removed it uh, uh, when uh, when invasions uh, ended. Uh, they removed a big source from it, and nobody's running Pochvan. That's why the uh, the source was so low. Um, Hateless and friends started farming wormholes in Highsec, so they were able to drop it. But this has stabilized uh, quite significantly. So expect this to kind of be the new normal because apparently that farming isn't able to push it back down to previous levels. So very 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 interesting if you are building nurgles or katursas or if you're trading in them or if you're straight up trading in this um this is a very interesting development so keep uh, keep this in mind the other um triglavian salvage items are are doing a similar thing but zero point field manipulators are just by far the most interesting ones all right that's it that's the oz report for february 22nd 2021 and we're going back to regular streaming. Thanks for listening and watching.